So it looks like they're having it, they're trying to have it both ways, for what it's worth. Okay, Hunter Biden's laptop. This is uh, it, it, over the weekend or over last, last weekend. Elon Musk was just getting in all kinds of trouble for just, you know, being, what, tight with Nazis or whatever. And uh, so, you know, he reaches out to Matt Taibbi and says, uh, well, who knows what he said, but uh, Matt Taibbi posts the, the, the Twitter files. You know, Elon Musk gives him all this, inf all these, you know, access to all this correspondence that Twitter had with the Biden campaign back in, tw in the 2020 election about Hunter Biden's laptop. And the Biden campaign was saying to Twitter, please don't publicize this stuff. It's personal. It's, you know, there's, there's no crime here. And, and uh, you know, it, it's, 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 hard, it's hurtful to, to, to the candidate and to his family. This is going after a family rather than, rather than the candidate. And it, it, this is not a scandal, right? I mean, this, the, the, first of all, Joe Biden was not president. Elon Musk and, and Matt Taibbi are trying to say that this is a First Amendment issue. Well, the First Amendment simply says the government may not censor you. Twitter can censor you all day long. There's nothing, you know, the First Amendment doesn't apply to Twitter. It applies to the government. And Joe Biden was not president at that time. So right there, period, full stop, there's nothing to do with the First Amendment. But somehow they're trying to present it as if it's some kind of a First Amendment thing. But number one, there's that. But then number two, you've got, you know, Hunter Biden's laptop. And, and I, th I think one of the really uh, extraordinary points that uh, Heather, Heather Digby Parton made at uh, salon.com this morning was that um, she says there's no clear evidence of any illegal uh, and the chronolo activity and the chronology doesn't work when it comes to allegations that Biden took corrupt action on behalf of his son as vice president. There's nothing there other than a man making money, that would be Hunter, by trading on his family name, which you might think would be an embarrassing issue for a family that literally sells its name to the highest bidder. That would be the Trump family. She goes on to write, no one can possibly read the emails from father to son that have been extracted from Hunter Biden's laptop and see anything but compassion and love. She, she writes, in fact, I'm sure Republicans understand this. What, what they are really trying to do is push Joe Biden to break down and cry in public. And then she says, seriously, this is an old rat effing trick from the Nixon years whose dastardly crew famously goaded Sen Senator Edwin Muskie the Democratic frontrunner in 72, into getting emotional over a fake letter impugning his wife. She goes on to say most of what the Hunter Biden laptop scandal is about are the dirty pictures. Sex scandals are where the dirty, dirty tricksters and rat effers of the GOP really shine. Think about 1987 with Senator Gary Hart of Colorado. Donna Rice was sent to him, apparently, by Lee Atwater just so the Republicans could get the picture and take him down because they knew that, you know, he, Gary Hart was going to be a serious candidate in 88, and he could take down George Herbert Walker Bush. Um, Hart was set up by none other than Lee Atwater. When Bill Clinton became president, they went after Monica Lewinsky. Um, you know, when Hillary Clinton ran for president, they started a whisper campaign that she was having some kind of lesbian relationship with Huma Abedin. That even made the New York Times. This is from the New York Times, quote, among the trove of emails released from Hillary Rodham's tenure as Secretary of State was this instruction to a trusted aide who needed a briefer on a matter that could not wait. Just knock on the door to the bedroom if it's closed, Mrs. Clinton wrote in November 2009 to Ahmed Abedin, then her deputy chief of staff. Right, I mean, you know, the implication is clear, and, and even the Times was in on that smear. So this is really what they're all about with the Hunter Biden laptop, is it's, it's taking, it's number one, the, the, the number one charge is going to be Hunter was trading on his dad's name. Well, hello, Don Jr., hello, Ivanka, with $2 billion from the Saudis. Hello, Don, you know, hello, uh, Eric. Uh, <laughs> really? And number two, they're going to say that, you know, uh, Joe Biden was somehow trying to suppress this, uh, to suppress free speech during the campaign in, t in 2020 in violation of the First Amendment. Well, he wasn't president, so he couldn't violate the First Amendment. He wasn't even vice president at that point. He was, he was, you know, just, just a guy. And uh, so, anyhow.